Let's begin our exploration of mobile operating systems. We will be discussing the architecture and design considerations for modern mobile operating systems. This includes the major players such as Android, iOS, and Windows. We will also look at the layered architecture, resource constraints, power management, touch-oriented user interface and security sandbox for these operating systems. Mobile operating systems use a layered architecture to effectively manage interactions between hardware and software components. These operating systems are designed to operate under resource constraints, which includes limited processing power, memory, and also battery life. Power management is crucial and mobile operating systems employ sophisticated systems to optimize battery consumption. The user interface is touch-oriented because the input systems are primarily designed for touch interactions. To ensure security, applications run in isolated environments known as security sandboxes with defined permission controls. The kernel is the core of the operating system. Let's examine the kernels used in popular mobile operating systems. Android utilizes a modified Linux kernel that has been optimized for mobile devices. These devices have limited resources. The features of this kernel are power management optimizations, memory management, and a binder interprocess communication mechanism. iOS, on the other hand, employs the XNU kernel, a hybrid kernel combining mock and Berkeley software distribution components. The features include mock for memory management and interprocess communication, Berkeley software distribution for file systems and networking and integrated power management. The core components of a mobile kernel includes process management, memory management, device drivers, and power management. The hardware abstraction layer, often known as HAL, provides a standard interface that exposes the device's hardware capabilities to the higher level frameworks. It hides the hardware differences from the upper operating system layers. This enables hardware agnostic application development across different device models. This allows operating system updates without requiring hardware specific modifications. It provides standardized interfaces for camera, sensors, audio, display, and other hardware components. The hardware abstraction layer is implemented differently across mobile platforms. For example, Android uses HAL modules and iOS uses IOKit. The hardware abstraction layer provides an interface between the applications and frameworks and the kernel and drivers. It allows applications to interact with hardware components such as the camera, audio display, sensors, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, and battery without needing to know the specific details of the hardware. Let's explore the core libraries and runtime environments that support mobile operating systems. Android libraries include the Surface Manager, which composites window surfaces, the Media Framework, SQLite, OpenGL ES for 3D graphics, and WebKit, a browser engine. iOS libraries include Core Foundation for Data Management, Core Animation for Graphics Rendering, Core Data for Object Graph Management, Metal for Graphics Framework, and WebKit. Android uses the Android runtime, also known as ART, to execute DX bytecode through a head of time compilation. This replaces the older Dalvik virtual machine. For example, an Android application execution flow is Java or Kotlin code, compiles to .class files, these convert to DX bytecode, and finally the Android runtime converts it to native code. In iOS, the Objective C and Swift runtime environments manage memory, dynamic binding, and object lifecycle. In iOS application execution flow, Swift or Objective-C code converts to low-level virtual machine intermediate representation, and then it compiles to native ARM code. The application framework provides high-level services and application programming interfaces, that is APIs, which applications use to access system resources, implement common tasks, and maintain consistent user experiences across the platform. This layer abstracts the complexity of lower-level components, allowing developers to focus on application logic rather than system implementation details. Framework components are designed to optimize for mobile constraints including battery life, memory usage, and touch-based interaction patterns. Key framework components include 
Activity or View Manager which controls the application lifecycle and user interface components, Notification Manager which handles alerts and user notifications, Location Services which provides geolocation and mapping capabilities, Permission Controller which manages application access to protected resources, Content Providers which enables data sharing between applications and Resource Manager which handles access to non-code resources. The application layer is where various types of applications reside. Native applications are built specifically for one platform using Platform Software Development Kits, or SDKs. They offer the best performance, full hardware access, and platform-specific user interfaces. Examples include Android applications written in Java or Kotlin and iOS applications written in Swift or Objective-C. Web applications run in mobile browsers using Hypertext Markup Language 5, Cascading Style Sheets, and JavaScript. They offer easier cross-platform development, but limited hardware access and potentially lower performance. Hybrid applications are web applications wrapped in a native container. Examples of this include Ionic and PhoneGap. Cross-platform frameworks compile a single code base to native code. They offer better performance than hybrid applications while maintaining development efficiency. Examples include React Native and Flutter. The Android activity life cycle defines how an activity behaves as the user interacts with it. This includes states such as active or running, paused, stopped, and destroyed. Mobile operating systems employ robust security models to protect user data and system integrity. The Android security model is based on Linux security with application sandboxing. Each application runs in its own isolated environment with a unique user ID. Android uses a permission-based system for resource access control. The iOS security model employs a strict application review process, code signing, and application sandboxing. iOS uses entitlements to control application capabilities and access to system resources and implements hardware-based security features. Both platforms implement multiple layers of security controls, from hardware-based security to application-level permissions. This creates a comprehensive security architecture that mitigates various attack vectors. Key security mechanisms include application sandboxing, secure boot, data encryption, biometric authentication, code signing, and runtime protection. Mobile operating systems implement sophisticated power management techniques to maximize battery life while maintaining performance and user experience. CPU throttling dynamically adjusts processor frequency and voltage based on workload demands. The Big Dot Little architecture combines high performance and energy efficient cores for optimal power usage. Background restrictions limits what applications can do when not in active use. Doze mode defers background activities during periods of inactivity. App standby restricts network access and background processing for rarely used applications. Mobile operating systems have different power states, which include the active state, idle or doze states, and sleep or suspend states. Each state has its own level of power consumption. The active state consumes the most power, while the sleep state consumes the least. Mobile operating systems are continuously evolving to meet the demands of emerging technologies and user expectations. A significant trend is the integration of artificial intelligence, where mobile operating system architectures are evolving to natively support artificial intelligence and machine learning workloads at the system level. This includes dedicated neural processing units, on-device machine learning frameworks and application programming interfaces, and context-aware operating system functions and services. Another trend is the move towards more modular designs, that enable faster updates and better security. This includes project mainline for modular updates, microkernel-based approaches, and component-level security isolation. Mobile operating systems are expanding beyond single devices to create seamless ecosystems through cross-device continuity. This includes unified application experiences across form factors, shared services and state synchronization, and distributed computing capabilities. 
mobile operating systems are also incorporating next-generation security architectures to address evolving threats such as hardware-based security enclaves, post-quantum cryptography integration, and privacy-preserving computation models. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.